Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer on this Tuesday, August the 10th, Tuesday of the 19th week of Ordinary Time. Today, the feast day of St. Lawrence, my patron saint, uh, a deacon and a martyr. Uh, I, when I was baptized, the name I was given was Fred Lawrence John, so he's been my patron from uh, my infancy. So it's kind of uh, ironic that, uh, or maybe fortuitous, that a deacon would uh, lead me to the diaconate. I don't know. I'm sure there was some some uh, divine inspiration there along the way. I, if there was, it was totally invisible to me. So anyway, but uh, God bless St. Lawrence. Uh, um, and uh, God bless all of my brother deacons on this, our, our uh, feast day. Uh, our readings today remind us that, uh, like St. Lawrence, we are to be joyful givers. Paul reminds us in the first reading that God loves a, a cheerful giver. And, you know, when, when he's talking about that, it's not just about money or goods, uh, things, but ourselves. We have to give ourselves uh, over to God and allow him to guide our lives. Dying to oneself, our gospel is a perfect reflection of that. Jesus said, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But when it dies, it bears much fruit. Again, dying to ourselves, giving up our own uh, wishes and ideas, and living for God and living for others joyfully and faithfully. Let us pray our evening prayer together that we be given the faith, the strength of faith we need to live a joyful life of giving and self-sacrifice. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance, Lord. Make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. By his martyrdom, Lawrence gave witness to our Lord Jesus Christ and gained the reward of heaven. I love the Lord, for he has heard the cry of my appeal, for he turned his ear to me in the day when I called him. They surround me, the snares of death. With the anguish of the tomb, they caught me sorrow and distress. I called on the Lord's name. O Lord, my God, deliver me. How gracious is the Lord and just. Our God has compassion. The Lord protects the simple hearts. I was helpless so he saved me. Turn back, my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has been good. He has kept my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God of power and mercy, through your Son's passion and resurrection, you have freed us from the bonds of death and the anguish of separation from you. Be ever with us on our pilgrimage, then we shall sing rather than weep. Keep our feet from stumbling so that we may be able to follow you until we come to eternal rest. By his martyrdom, Lawrence gave witness to our Lord Jesus Christ and gain the reward of heaven. Blessed Lawrence cried out, I rejoice greatly because I have been considered worthy to be a sacrificial victim for Christ. I trusted even when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill. 
before all his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. <clears throat> Amen. Father, precious in your sight is the death of the saints. <clears throat> but precious above all is the love with which Christ suffered to redeem us. In this life we fill up in our own flesh what is still lacking in the sufferings of Christ. Accept this as our sacrifice of praise, and we shall even now taste the joy of the new Jerusalem. Blessed Lawrence cried out, I rejoice greatly because I have been considered worthy to be a sacrificial victim for Christ. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for permitting me to enter the gates of your kingdom. O Lord, our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. You have created all things by your will. They came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you are slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for permitting me to enter the gates of your kingdom. Reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Rejoice, beloved, in the measure that you share Christ's sufferings. When his glory is revealed, you will rejoice exult exultantly. Happy are you when you are insulted for the sake of Christ. For then, God's Spirit in its glory has come to rest on you. You have tried us by fire, O God, then led us to a place of refreshment. You have tried us by fire, O God, and then led us to a place of refreshment. You refined us as silver in the furnace, then led us to a place of refreshment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, you have tried us by fire, O God, then led us to a place of refreshment. Blessed Lawrence said, The night is not dark for me. All things shine as in the noonday light. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed Lawrence said, the night is not dark for me. All things shine as in the noonday light. This is the hour 
when the king of martyrs offered his life in the upper room and laid it down on the cross, let us thank him and say, We praise you, O Lord. We praise you, O Lord, our Savior, inspiration and example for every martyr, for loving us to the end. We praise you, O Lord, for calling all repentant sinners to the rewards of life. We praise you, O Lord, for calling all re for entrusting to your church the blood of the new and everlasting covenant poured out for the remission of sin. We praise you, O Lord, for our perseverance in your grace today. We praise you, O Lord, for incorporating our dead brothers and sisters into your own death today. We praise you, O Lord. <clears throat> <clears throat> gathering our prayer and praises into one. Let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, you called St. Lawrence to serve you by love and crowned his life with glorious martyrdom. Help us to be like him in loving you and doing your work. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great rest of your night, and I will see you tomorrow.